Hello YouTube and welcome to this tutorial for the KSP robotic parts. Those were introduced with the Breaking Ground expansion DLC and um, they basically bring some of the things that we knew and love with Infernal Robotics mod. So uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you what they are, how to use them or, and um, a little bit about the programming of the CAL 1000. Not much though. Right, so let's get into the meat of things first things here we've got the hinges and as you can see the hinges are the stuff that opens and closes basically it's for moving parts opening closing doors and what's not moving wings folding wings uh, opening gear opening bays and whatnot i've bound them all to the action group but the principle core principle with all of them is the same uh, I've put cubic, cubic octagonal struts so that you can see what's going on with them. So, all of them have the target angle, which you can set in the editor, and then you can open it or close. Then you have the traverse rate, which dictates the speed at which it will be opening and closing, as you can see. Now, with it, when you decrease the traverse rate, it goes much slower or if you make it really quickly then you've got the flappity flap flap yeah all right so those are the parameters motor engaged if it's disengaged then it doesn't consume power basically so torque limit i'm not exactly sure what the torque limit does i think it's uh, probably how much uh, energy it has to flip back and forth right so this is the biggest hinge that that we have then we have one smaller and one smaller and then we have these guys which are good for putting if you need things on an angle um, right so this is once again how they deploy from maximum to minimum the good one the good about this guy is that it has 180 degrees of motion from left to right and this one is from top to bottom if you consider the placement they're all attached radially by the way then uh, second set is the pistons so uh, these are the hydraulic cylinder or pistons why am i and then they say the size doesn't matter anyway all of them have the maximum extension which you can set of course the traverse rate Damping, I think it's amount of force that it executes once you hit it and then the force limit in total So uh, I've mapped them as you can see sorry into an action group and Then they can be group of course in the action groups and whatnot right so uh, They are typical good for you know pushing stuff away like expanding the solar panels uh, opening up uh, extruding antennas on the communication satellites and whatnot raising um, the whole thing up down and flipping things and whatnot now um, the third construct that you have is the rotational servos and there's a fine distinction between the rotation servo and the um, and the actually engines or rotors so while the rotation servo point is that it turns from angle of minus 180 all the way to plus 180 so it can turn as you can see and you can set it by setting the correct angle and that pretty much goes for all of them so if you just for example yeah if you like turning stuff then you can you can engage and disengage and then by setting the target angle you can steer them however you like there's four in total from the 0 0.6 to 125 i think it's this is 250 and then or 175 and then 250 and then the last part is actually rotors so when you engage the rotors they start rotating as simple as that as you can see and um, you can decide the amount of rpm limits that you want to have from little to a lot and that's in general how the engines work those are good for i don't know rotation stuff uh, or 
um, whatever you need for example spinning wheel on a space station if you want to have one and uh, that's how they are being used now then the final part that we have here is this the cal controller and here uh, oh this one is the demo one i wanted to show you actually a different one i wanted to show you this guy so if you open the editor you can always dictate what will be added where i think if you uh, yeah i'll show you how to use it in the editor actually here i don't know but this one is for programming stuff and if for example i wanted to engage some predefined program look at this these are moving the hinges are moving the servos are engaging and in the motor rotors i think the rpm limits are set to so let's see if we put press three see this one will be rotating as much as i say it while uh, this engine will be rotating slow and fast so this is all things that you can regulate uh, using the cal 1000 controller and i'm gonna show you how to do that in a moment so let's go back to the editor now uh, programming it's quite simple if you go to the action groups mode you can say uh, right click it open the editor and then you get the track editor and I say adds field control via the action groups so now if I wanted for example to say that uh, the things that I will use are I have to se select the controller here and then I select a hinge and on the hinge I want to be modifying the target angle and then it loads some values you click on the editor here and then you get like the minimum hinge value and the maximum and you can also set those to as you can see drag to adjust here by dragging the green button you have to be very precise clicking your adjusting its start angle so it can start for example here and here you can read the value then as it moves over time and the length of this is five seconds you can set it if you want for example for 10 seconds you can move it in time to some point and then you say okay i want to add another point of the curve and let's say i move it up so at this point it will be opening up then some further seconds down the line i'm gonna add another point and i'm gonna say then you will close only partially after which i will add another point then you'll open fully before um, shutting down completely and i guess it gets out of the value here but that doesn't matter so if we try and go and play this by the points within the 10 seconds the animation should look like let me just show you here play goes all the way up back up and then back so this is how it plays out over time and you can edit these splines as much as you want to uh, the one fun part you can even set it to loop so you can say play direction forward and loop mode repeat so that means once you actually set this to play out it will be looping until you practically tell it to stop and that's why i think it's actually a very nice way to automate things and you know do even repetitive uh, things and, and whatnot so that's why i think it's actually kind of cool so that's the thing that you can do with this one if you want it to move you know faster you will say okay length at this which should be happening would be three seconds for example and then i think all in all should be faster yes as you can see you still have to respect the max, max torque values that are the values here so it won't be going faster than that so if you really want to play out you have to tweak these values as well i mean same principle goes with any other component that you want to do let's say for the purposes that we want to take the telescopic hydraulic cylinder under controller 
and we want to manipulate its target extension. Same principles apply. I click this. I will leave it on the max range for now and I want it to start like some minor way up. Now, uh, let's say that I want to add a next group and I will be adding this point at which I want this to extend all the way, right? Then I want to be adding tangents sharp, so we can actually make them sharp here. That might be also interesting for you to see, then they're linear, linear kind of. Then the transitions are much more, you know, abrupt. So tangents sharp and here also I think tangents sharp okay so let's preview how that would look see it goes linearly if you wanted to really tweak it you could actually tweak these so it would go kind of almost like you know sinusoid curve so it slows down as it approaches its peak so here goes abruptly and here you can see it easing down as it approaches. So you can really fine tune it and this is actually a very, very powerful thing. Now, so if you want to now automate, for example, this guy, you want to be tar targeting its target angle and then let's rotation servo i want to be well pretty much same business as everything else add it and then you can rotate it one direction or the other anyway you can of course tweak any of other parameters i'm here showing you guys with the ones that are most obvious so as you can see now it's turning see and uh, the interesting part if you try to add this guy hold on so this guy is basically the rpm limit that you can control so as long as it's spinning for example here it's standing flat then you can set that the rpm limit on this fella goes all the way up so it's he's, it's gonna be spinning faster if we set it to powered of course and then if we move it further down and then it will be slowly easing down exponential back off almost right so if i start playing it i would need to actually first enable it that it that it runs or power it up so as you can see when you're playing it this is pretty much how it looks when you're setting up and configuring stuff well i will uh, i hope that you like this tutorial so as always like if you like the episode hit subscribe and i will see you all in the next one thank you very much for watching this is gromforks signing off